Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So you've probably heard this old proverb which is, you know, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free, right? So why would you waste your money to purchase a cow when you can actually get the milk for free, right? So this message today is specifically dedicated to women who think that if they are to sleep with a guy, you know, as soon as they meet him, soon after they meet him, that somehow that that would cause him to really want to get to know them uh, and maybe even develop a relationship with him or whatever the case is. Let me tell you that probably on average 90% of the time or more than that, slightly more than 90%, it's not going to work, right? That is just absolutely not going to work. Because men don't, men don't look at it like that. Men don't think of it like that. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. So don't forget to subscribe uh, before I get into it. And please don't forget to turn on your post notifications because I post every single day. Don't forget to hit the like button and share the videos. All right, so let's go. So yeah, as I was saying, why would you waste your money to purchase a cow if you can get the milk for free? Uh, who's going to do that, right? But... The thing is, a lot of women have a tendency to think that, and now this is not all women, but quite a few of them have done it. And I've talked to a lot of them, right, over the years and a lot of the coaching that I've been doing. A lot of women believe that, okay, let me give you a scenario. They go out to the club or they go to the bar or whatever the case is, and they meet this guy and, you know, they think he's attractive and it's so what can I do to get to to make sure that I give myself the best opportunity to get to know him, right? The best opportunity so that he engages with me or whatever the case is. And what some woman would do is decide to sleep with him because they think that sex is like that ultimate thing that he's going to want. And when you give it up to him, that that's somehow going to make him want to just really get to know you and, you know, maybe end up being in love with you or whatever the case is. That's fantasy land type stuff. Now, I know some people are probably going to say that, hey, I met, the you know, the person that I'm with, we met the same night we met, we had sex, or the same week we had sex, or we had sex within two weeks or a month or whatever our relationship, and look at us, everything turned out to be really fine. But that's like telling everybody to drop out of college and you're going to become Mark Zuckerberg and have your own Facebook or your own YouTube or your own Instagram or your own TikTok or your own whatever the case is. And it doesn't work like that for everybody, right? That's not generally how life works. So, you know, you are really having to think about how are you going to get to know someone? And from a lot of the, the women that I've talked to, a lot of the guys that I've talked to, it's just not going to work that way. So this is how men look at it. If you sleep with a guy within a short space of getting to know him, within a short space of meeting him, uh, not even say getting to know him because you still don't really, you know, know him. You're just getting to know him. But within a short space of meeting him, if you decide to sleep with him, what happens is he believes, most men believe, I'm telling you, most men believe that that is something that you do often, that you take advantage of the opportunity, right, to give it up freely to men that you find attractive or whatever the, the case is. So, you know, by you giving it up, you're not, you're not, you're not putting him in a position where he has to actually work for anything, right? He doesn't really have to make any great sacrifice because if you think about it, if you meet someone the same night and you have sex with them, if you're intending to have a hookup, then that's what it is, a hookup. Okay, so you all hooked up. You all are grown. It was consensual sex or whatever the case is. Uh, and you're, you're adults, so, you know, that's fine. But if you are thinking long term and you seriously want to get to know this person, then the same night that you meet the person, it's probably not the best thing. The, the best thing for you to do is probably not to sleep with them. Uh, and no, people are going to say there is a double standard. Men can sleep with whoever they want to sleep with and all that sort of stuff. And that is absolutely true. 
we know that the world is not perfect, we know society is not perfect, and we know that there's a double standard that, ex that exists within society. The truth is, you can call a guy a hoe as much as you want to call him. Call him a hoe. That is the truth. A lot of men are actually going to wear that as a badge of honor. That is just the truth. A lot of men are going to wear it as a badge of honor, and their boys are just going to just give them the thumbs up, right? Because, hey, he gets all the ladies. That's going to be his stereotype. And for him, that's a good thing. And in society for him, while some people might look at it as a negative, he's not going to walk around with his head hang, hanging low, uh, feeling embarrassed because he slept with 30 women. No. But which woman can go out there and say that she slept with 30 men? You probably don't want to admit that. I know it is a double standard. But the guy is going to be able to wear that the number 30 is a badge of honor. And the woman, that's a complete, like, no man's going to want to deal with you, right? Because you're used up is what they're going to say. Uh, you, you're just kind of like, you, you know, it's kind of like you've been around the basketball team or the football team type of analogy is what you would have. You've been passed around, right? And you, you don't have anything special. All that, those, are, those are the things that are going to be said about you. I know it is a double standard but it is how the world works, it's how society works. And I think in, in situations like that, you can't really make your decisions based on, on society and, and all that sort of stuff. It's gotta be you. How do you value yourself? How do you value what you have? And how do you value relationships and actually wanting to be in a committed relationship and all that sort of stuff? And so, when you don't make a guy work for anything beyond just, you know, him having to talk to you for maybe two or three nights, and then on the second date or whatever the case is, uh, he's already uh, having sex with you. A lot of times, you know what men are going to do? They're going to pick up the phone, or the next time they see their boy or whatever the case is, they're going to be telling me, yeah, man, I, already, I smashed already. I mean, it's just, it's a conquering thing. Yeah, she already let me smash. And I've only been talking to her for about a week or so. And so if you told him, well, yeah, you know what? Uh, for the woman who say, you know what? And it might be true, right? This might be true. But for the woman who say, you know what? I don't do this often. Or whatever. Most men don't believe that either. They don't believe that you don't do it often. They believe you're just telling them that to not look bad while they're actually having sex with you or trying to get sex from you. So you're just telling them, well, you know what? I don't really do it that often or whatever the case is. So no, most men are not going to buy. Most men are not going to buy that. And so you have to seriously think about, for a lot of women, you really have to think about how you approach relationships and how you approach talking to a lot of guys and wanting to move from the getting to know you stage to the sex stage because I'm telling you, for a lot of men, it's just about conquering someone. Uh, for a lot of men, it's to chase. And if you make the chase easy, it's uh, it's almost like it's not good enough. Because like the chase was supposed to be more hmm, more endearing. Like just really more... Um, they had to be really more into what you had to offer. Right? And, and, and so if a guy is hanging around for a longer period of time, really trying to get to know you and wanting to spend time with you and all that sort of stuff, that is a good thing, right? Now, it doesn't say that he can't just hang around and play the game and he's been sleeping with two or three people on the side, but he's just been showing you a certain type of face or whatever the case is. And so, you know, he just he's going to just, you know, once he gets it from you, even if he waits six months, he could still just ride out because he... You know, it's not like he was, you know, he was just trying to wait you out to have sex with you, but he was actually messing around with other people. And there's some guys who would do that. But most times, genuinely, if a guy, guy really cares about you, he is, he is going to wait, right? So for a lot of you women, I know this is not all of you, but for a lot of you, if you feel that by giving a guy sex early while you're getting to know him, that that is somehow going to cause him to really want to get to know you and probably get into a relationship with you, that is probably not going to be the case. I'm telling you, for a lot of men, they're going to think it's something that you do often. 
as I've said, I know it's hypocritical. I know it's a double standard because a lot of men just sleep around with a lot of people uh, and we can't say anything. Um, well, we could say whatever we want to say about it, but a lot of men wear that as a badge of honor, whereas you can't do that, right? Because, hey, the world is just not fair. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. So in the comments, let me know how you feel. You know, I, I know it's a double standard. I know men can sleep with 30 people if they want and... You know, they can be called hoes or whatever the case is, and a lot of guys don't care. Uh, but let me know how you feel. Leave leave it in the comments. If there's if there's a video, if there's a topic you want me to talk about, just leave that in the comments as well. I'll try to make a video on it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications because I post pretty much every single day. I try to post every single day, but I guarantee you I post at least about five, six times a week. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and share. Those two things help the channel grow, and I'll really appreciate it if you do that as I'm trying to grow my channel. And then, if there are any topics that you want me to talk about, just leave it down below. Uh, and, and follow me on my Instagram, too. That's a good place for you to send me messages if you want to see a certain topic, if you want uh, me to talk about something, and I'll get to it. All right, so thank you for taking the time to watch I know you could be watching anyone else's video so I do appreciate you taking the time to watch and until next time peace